Hello and welcome to Embraer TV. This is a first for Embraer and indeed the aviation industry as a whole itself. We are live here at the Paris 2017 air show. John, thanks very much for joining us. What are your expectations here at Paris? Well, this is going to be a very special year for us. Um, we have our three new platforms here, the E2, the 195E2, which is the largest aircraft Embraer has ever built the largest aircraft ever built in uh, Latin America. We have our KC-390, which is the second largest aircraft Embraer's ever built. An amazing machine. And we also have the Legacy 450 from our executive jet business. So the three business units are represented here. And of course, we have our new business unit, uh, Services and Support, led by Johan Bourdais. So we have four business units here. We're here in strength to meet our customers this year. Uh, it's our 40th year here and um, it's going to be very important. We have, I guess, across the business units, there's over 150 meetings set up for everyone that's here, and we're led by Paolo, so we have lots of meetings, lots of customers, and hopefully lots of deals by the end of the show. I tell you, there's a lovely saying in aviation, and that is if an aeroplane looks right, generally it is right, and there aren't many aeroplanes that look much better than that. Johan, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Good to be here. Beautiful weather. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Beautiful airplane. Yeah, that's good enough for important. a better backdrop than this. <laughs> I know, I know, look at this. Perfect. So, Johan, could you please start by telling us what your role is as the president of support and services? Well, if I've got to summarize, is basically make the customer happy. That's what we do every day. Two things, ensure the availability of the airplanes and also the operating cost. It needs to be as competitive as possible. That's what we do. So, we are here in the cabin of the brand new E195E2, the Profit Hunter. I'm here with Captain Perini. He is pilot instructor and air safety engineer for Embraer. What can you say about the cockpit? Like, what makes it so special? Yes, for me, the, the special part of these new improvements that we have in this aircraft, it's the avionics. Uh, we have a four screen that you can split the screens and have all the information regarding the situation awareness for the pilot is really, really important. And in, during the phases that you have a high workload, you have all the information available for, for the pilot. And for this reason, we believe that you are improving our safety with all this information available. Now then, Rodrigo, you're in charge of marketing, and I understand that there's a whole new marketing campaign being revealed yes. with the, the new jet. Yeah, that's the, the fleet smart campaign. And um, I'm glad that it's being beautifully launched and uh, it looks really beautiful uh, in our chalet, in our airplanes, in our new website. So everything is running perfect. Rodrigo, could you tell us about the, the design smart, the business smart and the experience smart aspect? Yeah, that's, that's how the, uh, the fleet smart is, would say, would be uh, divided into so those, those, yeah, yeah, in those three main pillars. We are here at the E190 E2 virtual reality experience and I'm going to try it out myself. I think that was good, yeah. Oh, this is great, I can see my hands. And we're moving, great. When you're ready, pull the yoke towards you. There we go, ah, oh, this is amazing. All right. We're airborne. Fantastic. This is great. I may change career now.
So here I am with the artist Quintana in front of his masterpiece. Quintana, bem-vindo. Obrigado. So I'm going to ask him what the creative challenge was in painting this livery onto an airplane. Qual foi o desafio criativo em pintar isso? É o maior desafio mesmo foi a relação a, a o tamanho da aeronave. Aquela região é uma região bastante curva. Então aí esse foi o desafio. So he says the challenge was the size of the aircraft, obviously, but also the curving of the surface that he had to paint on. In the 40 years that Embraer have been coming to Paris, I'm right in saying this is the biggest presence you've ever had. For sure. I mean, even if we think about the size of our, our physical presence here, the size of our chalet, I think, is three or four times bigger than what it was two years ago at Les Bourget. Having the aircraft with us that we have this year, frankly, it's something, in a very humble way, it's something for us to be very proud of as a Brazilian company. I mean, the, just the sheer size of these aircraft that we have. And in fact, as I sit here looking at you, the aircraft that's right here over your shoulder is the 145, an aircraft where we're celebrating 20 years of service. Hello and welcome to Embraer TV. We are live on day two of the action. Wow, what a plane. The E195 E2 Profit Hunter in flight. And now we're about to see the KC390 in flight. It is the largest aircraft ever developed by Embraer. Development began in 2006, and it was after a request by the Brazilian Air Force for a new aircraft. Wow, what a fantastic flight display of both the E195 and the KC390. I can't even decide which one I like better. E2 is currently ahead of schedule with its testing program, am I right? It is, it is. It's also something Remarkable. Uh, our guys, I have to congratulate our teams. They're doing a, a great, great job. It's very uh, uncommon, even rare, yeah. in our industry to have programs on time. And we are absolutely on time, uh, on budget, uh, and the airplane is meeting the specs. So, great results. It's not just the executives that think the E2 program is a real winner. We were speaking earlier to some of the engineers who have had the privilege of working with the airplane. Brand new aircraft with focus on robustness, maintainability, and rear configuration. We optimize the entire passenger living space by integrating the seating panels, overhead beams, passenger seats, creating a unique environment. So let's talk a little bit about the, the executive jet side of things. And what is it about Embraer's executive jets that gives them the edge over their competition? Well, it all starts with innovation. I mean, 47 years of innovation is the key for all of the brands, whether it be executive jets, defense, or commercial. And through that innovation, it allows us to engineer, design, uh, technologically advanced uh, assets in the executive jet space that provide performance, that provides characteristics of cabin and comfort, uh, that allows for us to deliver a value uh, to the customer experience. Paolo, how nice is it as a, a supplier of airplanes to have such a close relationship with an operator? Oh, this is great. So, of course, Air France are top line in the world. And uh, not only that, but uh, I believe that uh, this relationship with Brazil and France, France and Brazil, so we are very close also, right? And uh, Air France is a great customer. It's at the top airline. They are very demanding in a good sense, which is very good to us because it helps us also to always raise the bar, right? And serve better our customer, understanding more their needs because their success is gonna be our success. It's not vice versa. So it's their success first, it's gonna be our success. So we are always looking to that, to be more efficient, to develop uh, not only products, but services also that will, will achieve the, their targets. So for us as a manufacturer, there is not, uh, nothing else better than having a repeating order from your right client. And Mr. Malcolm, what does the future look like for your relationship with Ember? We will see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will negotiate in a minute. <laughs> Well, the, the future, of course, we have, uh, as I said, uh, 40 uh, aircraft uh, of Embraer, so uh, uh, our relationship is built for a long time, and uh, perhaps we will have more. Yeah. 
<laughs> important to mention in this regard that uh, Air France KLM group mm -hmm. they have 75 yeah. Embraers. Uh, so KLM it's, a, it's, uh, it's the it's largest super. fleet in Europe. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Embraer TV. We're live from Paris on day three of the air show. Unfortunately, this is our last show on Embraer TV that we've got for you. I'm your host, Arthur Williams, but don't worry, we've still got plenty of action to come, including words from Embraer's president and CEO, Paolo Cesar. I was lucky enough to be able to grab some time with Embraer's president and CEO Paolo Cesar a little earlier on as well and find out exactly from him how the last three days have been such a success. Paolo, thanks very much for taking the time to come and join us here. How's the show been for you? Oh, it's been great. So I think it's uh, not only the weather, right? It's been very great, oh, it's right? It's boiling, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, this is the largest and, and, and the most important air show for Embraer ever. So when we look uh, through this window here and see all these aircraft that Embraer brought this year, brand new, right, platforms, state-of-the-art aircraft, right? So this is the best of the best in each of the segments. So we are very happy. Does it make you very proud sitting here, looking out over the static display to see so many aeroplanes that you've helped bring to Paris? Absolutely. So Jackson Snyder, you're the President and CEO of Embraer Defence and Security. Thank you very much for sparing some time to come down and talk to us today. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you for the possibility to be here. Now then, we saw the, uh, the beautiful, actually in the studio here, we've been almost under the wings of the beautiful KC-390. It's a lovely machine, one of the biggest aeroplanes that Embraer have yeah, ever I, produced. This plane will be used in unpaved lanes. Mm. Some of the missions uh, is to be used with paratroops, uh, cargo uh, load, and also medical evacuation uh, missions, fire, fire extinguished, fire combat. Mission is another mission that it can fulfill. Then, for sure, these specific tests, this specific refueling, wow. jet refueling, one cassier for another cassier refueling, these specific tests is they are very specific for for defense purposes for this kind of a view, of airplane. When you said that it was a multi-mission airplane, you really weren't joking, were you? <laughs> I'm here with Fernando Antonio, Program Director of E2 at Embraer. Welcome. Uh, good morning. So, I think we're quite comfortable here in first class, for even for a longer flight. Yes, yes. This, those are the stagger seats. They are pretty nice for guys taller like us. We have a lot of room, a lot of room to stretch our legs. So this is an innovation that we are trying to bring for the E2 family. Basically, those are first class seats that are 19 inch apart from each other and we manage also for the same cabin length to have the same amount of seats as of a traditional configuration. So hey now, you're responsible for regional sales in Latin America and Africa. Now they're huge regions to be responsible for. Yeah, well, thank you very much for the invitation. A pleasure for me to be here. Yes, they're both huge continents, I have to say. We have lots of opportunity indeed uh, because we have uh, some coincidences in both markets, which is lack of a connectivity. And our products, we believe, we strongly believe that we can fit the needs, or fill the gaps for, for both regions and, and operation. Now, I couldn't see Fernando taking all of the fun here at the Paris Air Show, so earlier I managed to get myself a bit of time and get myself into the virtual reality cockpit and fly one of the new E2 jets. Excellent. You're climbing 
to 20,000 feet. So awesome. <laughs> We've both done it. What do you think? Yeah, it's brilliant. That's really, really good. I didn't think it was going to be that realistic, to be quite honest. I thought it was going to be like a computer game. I've played on them at home, but it's awesome. It's a job uh, with a long breath. Yeah. You don't go in and sell an airplane right away. It's, uh, it, takes, uh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of convincing, a lot of relationship building. Yes. Uh, because it's not selling in a plane, it's, it's a partnership for a long term. So you sell the plane, and then the plane flies for 20, 20 plus years. And you need to support the plane, so you need to make sure that the customer and Ember fit together um, and work on that relationship, obviously. It's been an amazing three days here at Embraer TV. We hope you enjoyed watching it. We certainly had a great time putting it all together for you. And we thought you might like to catch a glimpse behind the scene and see how we all put it together. So this is where everything happens. This is the Embraer Pavilion. So I think we should go take a look inside. So here we are inside the Embraer Pavilion. We have reception here with the lovely Sarah and the lovely Kirsten. Say hello. Now they're making sure that all the guests feel very welcome here. Over there behind this screen is the E2 cabin mock-up, where we sat on these very comfortable stacked seats in first class. And back there is the virtual reality experience. We have Biljana, Kimya and Will taking care of things over there. But now let's take a look at the TV studio and see what's happening there. I think they might be filming, so let's approach them. Yes, they're doing an interview, so we're just going to walk past here. So this is the nerve center, the hub, where everything comes together. So we have Matt sitting back there. He's the one who makes it all technically possible. We have Jordan, the director, and Laura, the editor. And this here is Paulo Cesar, the president and CEO of Embraer, just reviewing his interviews. I'm sure he looks great. The reaction uh, for the streaming on Embraer TV is being really well. People are reacting and commenting, the customers are enjoying it, and even the executives are having a good time giving the interviews. A little bit earlier, we were talking to the president and commercial and the CEO of Commercial Aviation, John Slattery, who wanted just to take a few minutes of your time to talk about what he has felt has been a really, really rather successful show here at the Bourget. Well, here we are on, uh, on Wednesday, uh, which is the, typically the last day for a lot of folks here at the Paris Air Show. It's not for the Embraer folks. We have a full day again tomorrow. Uh, this was a momentous show for us. We had the KC-390, the second largest aircraft ever produced uh, in the continent of Latin America. And of course, my baby, uh, the 195 E2 the largest jet ever built uh, on the continent. Of course, the largest aircraft ever produced by Embraer. We had last night our customer event. We had over 350 people join us. We had a, the biggest physical presence we've ever had in our chalet. We have our mock-up, uh, the new mock-up of the E2, the virtual reality center. I think between I and my colleagues, we had something like 105 meetings over the course of the last three days. We're now within 12 months of entry into service of the 190E2 with Vidro in Norway. Uh, the buzz is palpable when you come to the air show. And I, I just want to take the opportunity here on uh, Embraer TV, uh, not only to talk to the customers, but just for one brief moment to thank my colleagues uh, who've worked so hard to make this show the best success we've ever had. Thank you everyone at Embraer. We live for the challenge.